First off, you need to know how our sprinting ability works. You can run faster when it's active, and with a full charge, you can sprint for 10 seconds. When you're not using the ability, it will recharge the bar. Or if you kill the enemy, it will instantly recharge it. Now, sprinting is good and all, but if you don't jump and try to juke the enemy, you're an easy target for them to shoot. So to get good movement with Neon, you need to first learn how to B hop. It's pretty simple. Jump, and as soon as you land, jump again. If you find it hard to get the timing right, try changing jump to scroll reel. Keep practicing this until you can do it with ease. Now while you're in the air, we don't want to just go in a straight line. To turn in the air without losing momentum, hold down A or D while turning in the air. With this, you can even do a 180 degree turn without losing momentum. Now to make it really difficult for enemies to hit us, we need to strafe. To do this, we need to alternate between turning left and right in the air. Don't forget, you can jump further because you're running faster. For example, you can get from this box on the ice box all the way up to here with one jump while sprinting. If you are sprinting with Neon, you have the ability to slide by pressing right click. You are able to slide with Neon in any direction you want, except for backwards. If you want to slide backwards, you have to be running and then instantly press S and the slide key at the same time. Or if you jump and then when you hit the ground, press S and slide at the same time, you also slide backwards. Both ways work, but the jumping way is a lot easier. You should do the slide to catch enemies off guard when entering a site or when you're stuck in a bad position. Keep in mind, the slide does not negate fall damage. Neon has two stuns. Her stuns can only bounce one time, and every time it hits a wall, it makes a cylinder-like stun. Now the stun has no high limit, this means you can bounce the stun off the roof. It will stun the enemies below it. With this, you're able to make pretty stick lineups like these ones. Neon has one wall, it is like Phoenix wall, but just better because you have two of them. With this, you can create a lane for you and your team to get on the site. You can shoot Neon's wall over structures by aiming above them using her ability. When you activate Neon's ult, you instantly gain 100 fuel. Just like the sprinting ability, it fills back up to 100 when she gets a kill. When the fuel runs out, her ultimate stops. With Neon's ult, you can slide twice, since her slide resets when you activate her ult. Now if you want to support me, subscribe to this channel and watch my other videos like how to play Phoenix like a pro. I'd really appreciate it.